Athens, October 2016. As cultural pilgrimage still pours into big cities, we opened the door to a new world some time ago. There exists a parallel reality, a single entity beyond races and religions, sexes and statuses, bringing in contact individuals longing to share another life and ideas. This situation turned out to be called the Eternal Internet Brother Sisterhood. Our annual meeting of artists, writers and various cultural practitioners has already examined and decrypted puzzles of a remote Cycladic island, a surrealist park in the jungle, the waters of a dead sea and the Dantian transitions of a castle. In this world, our physical social network revitalizes routines and expands ideas on art, writing, technology, psychology and well-being. Every year we communally detox from the effects of our neoliberal, post-technological life. We reconnect spiritually with antiquity and other eras, rewiring our homeless minds to a new visual beauty, the eternal beauty of our Mother Earth and its remarkable cultural commons. For another year we are ready to reach higher levels of cosmic consciousness seeking euphoria, exploring exotica, stumbling into tropical anarchy and animal splendor. The place for the fifth edition of the Eternal Internet Brother Sisterhood is the Cultural Triangle in Sri Lanka, the place where the ancient ethnologist Megasthenes spoke with great admiration thousands of years ago on his book Indica, but also Pliny mentioned Taprovani the ancient Greek name of Sri Lanka, as the opposite Earth. Our opposite Earth has another aura, a peaceful one. Production problems no longer exist there. We are freed from the monocultural intellectual labor, bringing together cultural exchange and heterogeneity away from financial and informational consortiums. There we will immerse ourselves in the metaphysical powers of the monumental rock of Sigiria, an organic transmuter, a huge stone in the middle of the jungle, functioning as a talisman, blocking negative energies and electromagnetic infusions. There we will delve into themes such as ontological and cultural materialism, ancient and contemporary post-humanism, settled in this perfect land of ancient royal temples and sacred princedoms, surrounded by skies where you can't tell where the fireflies end and the stars begin. <laughs>